All right, well, Shannon Andrew construction crews are working right now to replace part of the roof here at Crossroads Ministries that was ripped off during that storm and scattered throughout the area. Fortunately, the pastor here tells me no one was seriously hurt. There's a lot of roof damage back in here. Assessing the destruction to Crossroads Ministries Church from the inside. It was Saturday evening when windows were suddenly blown out and part of the roof was lifted into the air, dropping debris on cars in the parking lot, scattering church books and other items over the hillside as around 100 people gathered for worship. I stayed at the top up there and sent the people down. They came down. We came through this area and they we're lining this hallway. Pastor Ken Barner evacuating his congregation to the basement as they waited out the storm. Yeah, I was pretty shocked myself. I, um, you know, I, I've lived here all my life. I'm a Pittsburgher. I've grown up here in Pittsburgh. I've seen tornado warnings, but never seen a tornado. There was a sky where there should be ceilings. So uh, went out and checked my car my wife's car and they were both damaged as were many cars in the parking lot. Some neighbors experiencing the force of the tornado for the first time as well. I never want to see anything like this ever again. It sounded like a train coming through the backyard, seeing all kind of water coming out of my pole, um, seeing debris flying everywhere. And we're out here now trying to help people out, get some tarps on some roofs. Work to repair roofs and clear fallen trees is underway. And back at the church, Slagle Roofing working to seal the gaping hole in the roof by the end of the day. He's dedicated his teams to help this emergency situation. He's not only helping us, he's helping other people in our community right now. So I'm thankful to God for what they're doing here. And there's no set timeline for when all of these repairs will be complete, but the pastor is hoping to have them done as soon as possible to resume having services once again. Reporting live, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.